So I've just got my new camera in the post and this is all the debris from unpacking everything because I just couldn't wait. I had intended to make a proper unpacking video, but unfortunately this is what's left. But, here we go. The reason why I'm so happy with this is because, as you can see, the video coming off my telephone is just absolutely awful. Like, it can't focus on this, it's too dark. Anyway, so now I can swap over to the camera. See? That is just so much better. I really, really love this new setup. It is so much fun. I had, I had the best time unpacking all of this stuff, really, honestly. It totally felt like Christmas. Oh, that is if your insurance company is Father Christmas and the presents are all stuff that you bought before and then were stolen. The, the metaphor doesn't necessarily hold up, but I enjoyed myself opening it, definitely. <laughs> so I'm in Leon, and I've been in Leon for the last two weeks-ish. Leon is so great so far. My Airbnb host is incredible. We went to this Irish bar around the corner. He was like, oh, you're British, you'll like this. Let's go to the pub. And we thought we'd get some food. So he went off to the bar and he was like, oh, I just got a mix of stuff. I was like, oh, okay. And then this thing turns up and it's a plate of cheese, pate, saucisson, and a whole load of bread and olives and stuff. And I thought this is the most French Irish bar I've ever been to. The last two weeks has been about 35, 37 degrees every day. Seriously. I, especially because I live right on the top of a massive hill. I didn't do any research about the topography of Leon before I came here because like, why would you? Every day when I'm coming back from school, I have to walk up a hill like this for about 10, 15 minutes. And when you get to the top and it's 35 degree heat, wow. Something else that's a little bit strange is that everything is closed. Um, I seem to have arrived at Leon at the exact moment when literally everybody decides to go on holiday. It's really strange. The city, when you're walking around it, it really does feel like it's only about 60 or 70 percent full. You walk past so many restaurants and bars and they've got a little sign on their window saying that they're closed until like the 21st or 23rd of August seems to be about right. Speaking of food and all that sort of stuff actually I'm gonna change the lens and swivel it around because I'm gonna make some food uh, while I tell you the next bit about school. Okay let me just reposition this ever so slightly. So I feel like we're going much more steady I would say at this school. We tend to learn one thing and then we'll kind of stick with it for a while. And I think it means that I'm learning stuff a bit more in depth than perhaps I would have done usually. But we're also moving a little bit more slowly, you know. And in Paris, this, the philosophy seemed to be, we're going to teach you a load of stuff. You're not going to understand it all at once, but over time, with use, it'll come. Whereas here, it seems to be a bit more, we're going to teach you one thing until you know it really well. Then we're going to move on to the next thing until you know it really well. So it's a slightly different philosophy and I'm interested to see how I feel about that once I've had the full four weeks of it. Um, but I can feel myself making loads of progress, which is really good. And like, that's the point, right? The fact that I am practicing everything a few times before uh, we move on is really helpful. I've got to a point with some of the, like, the, the basic interactions, like when you're in a shop or a restaurant, that they won't immediately change to English when they see me, which is quite the plus for me. I'm really ruining these eggs because I can't speak and do stuff at the same time, I'm realising. I think this might be a one-off experiment in doing a vlog while cooking. Yeah, those are perhaps the worst scrambled eggs I've ever made. Okay, I feel like I'm distracting myself too much, so I'm going to skip to when I'm having my food and I'll talk to you again then. So just to prove to you that I have indeed made some food, here it is. <laughs> Can you see that? Oh, there's some, there's some eggs and some avocado and stuff but I'm not very proud of it, so I'm gonna keep it just out of shot so that you don't judge me. So, to conclude, it's been really nice to meet a load of new people at school. It's been really nice to like try out a new school philosophy as well, a new way of learning. It was far less social initially than, um, than the Paris school. It took until Thursday to even start a WhatsApp group for us, which may sound like a bit of a first world problem. Anyway, now it's very different and we've all started speaking and I've been out for drinks a couple of times with the guys, which is really nice. And we've been and had dinner in Vieux-Lyon, which is the old town. Really good fun. Something that's quite odd is that literally everybody in my class is either Spanish-speaking or a priest or both. And I feel like the odds wouldn't have told you that in advance. <laughs> that seems like something that is unlikely. Anyway, because if I spoke Spanish, it'd be great. I'd have so many different Spanish people to speak to all at once, which would be really good fun. But I can't speak Spanish, which is a shame. But hanging out with them and chatting a bit about their language has actually made me consider that it would be quite a fun thing to go and do. So I wanted to finish this vlog by talking a bit about what I want to do next with it. So now I've got my camera back, I'm going to 
start doing like weekly or maybe twice a week vlogs again. Um, I want to do a review of the French school that I went to in Paris. I've also started using Duolingo a lot recently, so I might talk about that and what's good and bad about Duolingo. But I would love to hear what, what you guys think. It's so cool that there's like nearly 420 people now subscribed to this channel. So, so if you're watching this and you're one of those 420 people, then hello, thank you for subscribing. Uh, what would you like to see on the channel? Let me know. Write something in the comment. Um, and if you're not one of the 420 people and yet you're on the video anyway, then why not subscribe? For now though, I'm beginning to think that my, uh, case in point, I'm beginning to think that my experiment in cooking while doing a vlog has revealed that I'm not, I, maybe I can do one of those two things, but not both at the same time. So I'm gonna finish this meal without a camera pointing at me <laughs> and I will see you next time. But thank you so much for watching and I will catch you soon. Au revoir. Ah!